Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will show you three easy ways to style WP forms without CSS coding. Before we start, you need to install and activate WP Forms plugin. I have already done it. I am using the light version of WP Forms. So, here is the first method. Install and activate Visual CSS Style Editor, also called Yellow Pencil by VASP Themes. Now let's create a simple form and add some styling using Yellow Pencil 7.3. Type a name for the contact form, then select a contact form template, then click on save, then click on embed, copy the short code. Click on close and then click on exit to return to the dashboard. Then add a new page. Enter the title name Insert the shortcode element Paste the short code that you copied in the previous steps. Click on the publish button. Then click on view page. Now Click on Edit with Hello Pencil. From the toolbar, select Flexible Inspector. Then hover the cursor over the elements that you want to add CSS styling. Then click and select an element. Then Change the CSS properties from the panel on the right side of the window. Once done, you may save the CSS settings. Please note that you will not be able to save the premium settings. But luckily, it is possible to copy down the CSS code 
that is generated during the process and could be added to additional CSS in WordPress customizer. To copy the CSS code, just click on CSS editor button on the toolbar, then select and copy the generated CSS code. Then click on the close editor. Then click on leave button since it is not possible to save premium settings. Then click on customize. Then click on additional CSS. Then click on the publish button. Yellow pencil is absolutely easy to use and you don't need any CSS coding knowledge to use it. Now let's move on to the second method. This method requires you to install the plugin called Micro Themer Lite by Theme Over. So look for Micro Themer Lite, install and activate it. Now head over to the page that contains the contact form that had already been created. Then click on view button. Then click on micro themer. Now click on the target button to enable targeting mode. Then hover over the form elements and click to select it. Then click on create selector button and make the necessary changes such as changing color, size, padding, margin, etc. Once you are done with one element, click on the target button again to enable targeting mode. Repeat this process for all elements you want to add or edit CSS styles.
The third and the last method requires you to install the plugin called Site Origin CSS by Site Origin. So look for Site Origin CSS, install and activate it. Now head over to the page that contains the contact form that had already been created. Right click on view and select copy link address. Then go to appearance and click on custom CSS. Then click on the eye icon to start live CSS editing. Now paste the copied link in the address bar and press the enter key to navigate to that page. Now if you hover the cursor on the elements you should be able to select every individual elements of the website. Just click and select one of the elements and change the CSS properties on the right side panel. When you are done with the editing process, click on the tick mark to return to the dashboard. Then click on save CSS. My final thoughts. Out of the three CSS editor plugins, the best one is yellow pencil by VASP themes. If you have any doubts and suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you with another interesting WordPress tutorial soon.